Good morning students. Today's topic is the continuation of chapter number 5 Industries from Geography. And today I will discuss with you distribution of major industries around the world in which first of all I will discuss with you iron and steel industry which is very important and located in Jamshedpur, India and famous as Tata Iron Steel Company. And after that, the second important industry, which is located in United States of America in Pittsburgh. So students, first of all, so students, according to your topic number one, distribution of major industries, the world major industries are the iron and steel industry and after that textile industry and information technology industry. But students, the iron, steel and textile industry are the older industries while information technology is an emerging industries. Okay? And the countries in which iron and steel industry is located are Germany, USA, China, Japan and Russia. And after that second important industry which is textile industry which is located in India, Hong Kong, South Korea, Japan and Taiwan. And now finally the emerging industry of information technology which is now growing very rapidly and the major hubs or the major center of information technology industry are the Silicon Valley of Central California and Bangalore region of India. Okay. So students your First topic is now after the distribution of major industries is iron and steel industry. So students as you know very well that other industries like iron and steel industry too required various inputs, process and outputs. And this is a feeder industry whose products are used as raw material for other small industry or any other industry to make another important products. And the inputs for this industry include raw material or iron steel industry required raw material such as iron ore, coal and limestone along with labor, capital and other infrastructure. And uh, the process of converting iron ore into steel involves many stages like the raw material is put in the blast furnace where it undergoes smelting. And after that, it is refined and finally the output obtained is steel which may be used by other industries as raw material. Okay. So students you know very well that steel is tough and it can easily be shaped, cut or made into wires. And very special alloys of steel can be made by adding some small amounts of other materials like aluminium, nickel and copper. And alloys give steel hardness and ability to resist rust or in common language steel have a ability to resist zinc or rust okay 
So students, overall, we can say steel or iron steel industry are the backbone of all the modern industries of the world. And almost everything which we are using made by iron or steel like uh, tools, machinery and uh, ship, trains, trucks and autos and even safety pin or all pin are all made by steel and even whatever machinery made for oil drilling inside the crust of the earth that machinery is also made by steel and steel pipelines used to transport oil from its extraction point to the refineries okay and uh, minerals are also mined with the equipment of steel and you know very well that most of the machineries like farm machines and big buildings have a steel framework so students on the basis of above you can understand that how steels are very important for us okay so students first of all now we have to understand that before 1800 AD where iron steel industries was located so students before 1800 AD most of the iron steel of the world and industries based on iron steel was located where all the raw materials were available like power supply and running water etc. But after some time later after mechanization and the modernization and due to the technological development the ideal location for the industry was near to coal field and close to canals and railways and this is growing very fast because of for the transportation of goods and services from one place to another place with the help of railways and canals but again after some time later and mid of the 19th century and in 1950 iron and steel industry began to locate it on those places where areas of flat land near sea ports was available and Students, the ideal location for the settlement of iron steel industry began to change year after some year because by this time steel works had become very large and iron ore had to be imported from other part of the world or from other countries. And uh, in India, iron steel industry has developed near those places where the raw material, cheap labor, transport and markets, all things were available. Okay. And uh, all the important steel producing centers like Bilai, Durgapur, Banpur, Jamshedpur, Rao Kela, Bukaru are situated in a region that is spread over 
mainly four states and these four states are West Bengal, Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Bhadravati and Vijayanagar in Karnataka and uh, Vishakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh and Salem in Tamil Nadu and students the India's large and big iron steel industry mostly located in these regions and states of India because coal and ore of iron are available here and uh, after the establishment of iron steel industry in these regions of India India's steel production increased from 1 million ton in 1947 and it increased 30 million tons in 2002. Okay? Understood? So students, after that I am going to discuss with you India's big industry which is famous and known as Tata Iron Steel Company which is located in Jamshedpur. So, as you know all very well that before independence, Tata Iron Steel Company Limited or in short form, we are knowing that industry as Tisco, it means Tata Iron Steel Company was only one iron and steel plant in the country which was privately owned by the Tata family, okay? And uh, after independence, the government set up several iron steel plants also and Tisco or Tata Iron Steel Company was started in 1907 at Sakchi near the Rivers Subarnarekha and Kharkai in Jharkhand. Because of these two rivers were the major source of water supply and also for the production of hydropower or energy. Understood? And student, most important thing is Tata family selected that place for the establishment of Tata Iron and Steel Company only due to the availability of raw material around the region. It means raw material or iron ore. So students, after some time later, the place where industry was started by the Tata family known as Jamshedpur and earlier that place was known as Sakchi. Okay? But students, again one question will arise here that why Sakchi was chosen to set up the steel plant by Tata family. So student, this place is selected by the Tata because this place was only 32 km away from Kalimati station on the Bengal Nagpur railway line. And you know very well that products or iron ore are very bulky and heavy. That's why to complete the needs and requirement for the transportation of final products and iron ore, this place was selected by them. And also it was very close to the iron ore, coal and manganese deposits or manganese 
mines and as well as to kolkata and kolkata was very important for them because kolkata provided a large market and still kolkata is a very big agglomeration of economy and very large market for the selling and purchasing of good and services okay so students tisco or tata iron steel company gets coal from jharia coal fields and iron ore limestone dolomite and manganese from odisha and chatisgarh understood after that the kharkai and subarnareka rivers ensured sufficient water supply to that industry and also government started and made many policies and takes initiatives to provide adequate capital like good land and electricity and good infrastructure for the development of tata iron and steel industry of india okay after that student pittsburg i am going to discuss with you and i will discuss with you that why iron and steel industry developed in pittsburg all right so students you know very well that it is an important steel city of the united state of america and famous as pittsburgh so students as you know very well that due to the availability of raw material like coal which is very important for industries as a source of energy available nearby the region and the iron ore comes from the iron mines at minnesota which is located only 1500 km from pittsburgh and between these mines and pittsburgh great lakes waterway is present which is one of the world best route for shipping ore cheaply to the iron and steel industry of united states of america understood and also trains carry the ore from the great lakes to the pittsburgh area understood and the ohio and the monogela and allegheny rivers provide adequate water supply to the iron and steel industry of pittsburgh which is located in united states of america and students as i told you above that iron steel industry is a very big industry and this industry required water supply also okay and today large steel mills are located in the valleys of monagela and allegheny rivers above pittsburgh and along the ohio river which is located below it so students again one question will arise here that why most of the industry of united state of america are located around the river and river valleys so students as i told you in above that water is also very necessary requirement for the iron steel industry for the cooling of machineries and also for the generation of electricity all right 
and uh, finished steel is transported to the market by both land and water routes okay as i told you above near the region of pittsburgh great lakes and these three rivers and um, also railways line constructed for the cheap and easy transportation of goods and services from iron steel industry of pittsburgh to the market okay and other factories also present in pittsburgh which use steel or raw steel as their raw material to make many different products such as railroad equipment heavy machinery and rails also so students now on the basis of all the above explanation you can understand that how iron steel industries are very important for us and why these industries are mostly located in those places where the raw material like iron ore coal and water are easily available okay so students for today's that's all and my next explanation i will discuss with you cotton textile industries all right thank you and have a nice day